Hello and welcome to another TPOS tutorial. In this video, I will demonstrate how to file for gambling turnover tax return, class 2, for non-charitable purposes. There are two types of gambling turnover tax class. For this tutorial, we will be focusing on class 2. For this class, organizations that are operating in the gambling and betting activities sector, carrying out gambling and betting activities, and having a class 2 gaming license for non-charitable purpose, will be liable for a monthly filing obligation. First, you need to log in with your correct user ID and password. Once logged into your account, select the filing obligation tile. Here, you'll see multiple filing obligation tax returns. Select Gambling Turnover Tax Return Class 2. Once loaded, you'll be navigated to the Instructions page, where you need to read and declare that you have understood the instructions by ticking the checkbox. Then, click Continue to Next button to proceed to the next section. Now, enter Gaming License Number, License Valid From, and License Valid To, and attach a copy of the license. Now select yes or no for the question, are you filing an ill return? If you select yes, then you will have to provide the reason for an ill return and move to the declaration section and submit the form. However, if you select no, then click the arrow button to proceed to the gambling activity details section. Now, you have two fields available, betting sale and lottery ticket sale. Click on the icon to enter your data. Here, you have to click the Add New button, and select the bet type from the drop-down, and enter the bet turnover for the period. If you have more than one bet type, then click the Add New button again, to add a new entry line. After entering the data, click the Confirm button, to save your entry. If you have lottery ticket sales, then click on the icon on the form. Here, you have two options to fill the form. The first option is to enter the data by clicking on Add New button and enter the following data. Closing date, drawing date, rate the ticket, number of lottery ticket printed, number of undistributed tickets, number of lost tickets. You will also have to upload the lottery ticket number details and list of lottery prizes and prize winners. The second option is to use the Excel template for the lottery ticket number details by clicking the Download Template button and enter the data in the Excel. Let's break down how you have to enter the data. If you look at the GTT Excel template, you will find five sheets. The first one is the summary, which is automated, where the data from remaining four sheets are displayed in summary form. The only additional calculation is the variance. Let's discuss each sheet individually. Printed lottery ticket. This sheet has four columns where you have to provide details on the number and range of the lottery tickets printed. The first item is the description section. Here, you'll have to mention the different types of lottery tickets that are printed. Second important item is the printer ticket number from to printer ticket number two, for which you'll have to enter the details. Third item is the number of tickets, which will be populated on the summary page. Undistributed tickets. This sheet has four columns where you have to provide details on the number and range of lottery tickets that are not distributed. Tickets lost. This sheet also has four columns where you have to provide details on the number and range of lottery tickets that are lost. Tickets sold. This sheet again has four columns where you'll have to provide details on the number and range of lottery tickets that are sold. return to the TPAWS portal and upload your Excel. Note that this Excel is a mandatory attachment with your application. Now, click the Continue to Next Step to proceed to the Summary section where your tax liability will be displayed. Now, the taxpayer needs to click on Continue to Next Step in order to move to the Declaration section. For non-individual taxpayer, you have to provide the TIN of the person submitting the application. In order to submit the form, you will have to tick the declaration checkbox and click on submit button to submit your filing for GTT class 2. We hope that you have been able to follow through. Thank you for watching and please stay tuned for more tutorial videos.
for more information or queries, please email info at frcs.org.fj.